Okay, so here we have the more challenging questions, but again, you'll see it's really not that bad. Uh, once we have our cast diagram, what that is what I'm going to start with. Well, actually, let's start by reading the question. Simplify the following trigonometric ratios without the use of a calculator by first writing the angles as positive and acute. So we see here we've got angles and we don't really know what these angles are. We only know the angles of 30, 6, uh, 0, 30, 45, 60 and 90 degrees. Okay, So we will have to make these angles into acute angles and that will probably then simplify to these special angles that we looked at before. Before we do, let's start with our cast diagram. There's our cast diagram, 0 or 360 degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, this is 180 minus, 180 plus, 270 degrees, 360 minus, and 360 plus would be on that side. Okay, so let's start. The first thing that we do, uh, starting with the first question, is we ask ourselves in which quadrant is 330 degrees. 330 degrees is in this quadrant. What is the angle that it makes with the x-axis? Okay, so 330 is just 30 degrees shy of 360. So 30 degrees extra and we'll be at 360. So that must be 30 degrees. So this means that I can write it as cos of 360 degrees minus 30 degrees. Okay, not 360 minus 330. 360 degrees minus 30 degrees. That is the angle that it makes with the x-axis. Okay, cos in this quadrant is positive, so we can simplify it now simply to cos of 30 degrees. We'll answer this in just a minute. Okay, to answer that we need that other diagram that we also learned. Okay, the one, the special angles one where we have a quarter of a circle and we have our 30 degrees, 45 degrees and our 60 degrees angle and we start numbering square root of 0, square root of 1, square root of 2, square root of 3 and square root of 4, that's 2, we know that this radius is 2 all round okay. Uh, let's put in the angles. This is 35, 30 degrees, sorry, 45 degrees and 60 degrees. Okay, and uh, sorry, the colors didn't line up very nicely. Then for, um, so square root of 4 is then 2, and then this is square root 0, square root 1, that's the y coordinates, square root 2, and square root 3, and finally square root 4. Okay, so cos of 30 degrees, we know that cos is, what is it, y over, sorry, x over r. Cos is x over r, which means in this case, for 30 degrees, it's square root 3 over 2. Square root 3 over 2, and that's our answer for the first question. Let's look at that second one. The second one is sine squared of 225. Okay, now sine squared simply means that I'm going to do sine of 225 and square my final answer. So that's what I'm going to do. Sine of 225, and which quadrant is it? Well, it's more than 180, less than 270, so it's going to be in this quadrant. If I am in the third quadrant, tan is positive, which means sine is negative. What angle do I make with the x-axis? Well, to get from 80 to 225, I must add 220 to get to 200, and another 25 to get to 225. So that means it's 180 plus 45 degrees. Again, notice what I did. I wrote 225 as 180 plus. So the whole time my aim is to write my interior angle as 180 minus 180 plus or 360 minus. And then I know that oh, 180 plus is the third quadrant where tan is positive, the rest is negative, so we must have negative sine of 45 degrees. What is sine of 40? Now all of this must be squared in the end. I almost forgot that. That must be squared in the end. So we see this negative doesn't even influence anything. It's in any way going to be positive. 
Why do I say that? Because sine squared, anything that is squared will be positive. It doesn't matter what the outcome is, it's going to be positive anyways. So negative times negative is positive anyways. So what we have is sine of 45, so we'll keep the negative just to just to be sure. Sine of 45 is 45, sine is y over r, so sine of 45 is square root 2 over 2, square root 2 over 2, and this thing is being squared, and what do we get? Square root 2 squared will just give me 2, negative squared is positive, over 2 squared is 4, so my answer is a half. Okay, sine squared of 225 gives me a half. So for our final question here, we see we've got quite a few, and all we're going to do is do each one separately, and in the end, just do the calculation, okay, and do it without a calculator. The first one talks about sine of 315 degrees. Now, 315 degrees is more than 270 and less than 360, so we need to write it in terms of 360 minus. So sine of 315 is 360 degrees minus 45 degrees. Again, if I simplify this interior, I'll get 315. Tan of 120 in terms of 180 minus, 180 plus or 360 uh, minus, we see 120 is second quadrant because it's less than 180, more than 90, so we get 180 degrees minus what to get 120? minus 60. And finally, plus cos of 240. 240 is in the third quadrant. So we have plus cos. Third quadrant is 180 degrees plus 60 as well. Okay, now we can use our reduction formulas. Because we know sine 360 minus is the fourth quadrant only cos is positive in the fourth quadrant, so this must be minus sine of 45 degrees, divided by tan in the second quadrant, okay, where only sine is positive, 180 minus the second quadrant, sine is positive, so tan must be negative, tan of 60 degrees. Okay, and this one plus cos of 180 plus, 180 plus is third quadrant, tan is positive in the third quadrant, meaning cos is going to be negative. So when we multiply this positive with a negative, it becomes negative cos of 60 degrees. And this, I'm sure you can do, we did it before, let's see how it's done. First of all, sine of 45, sine is y over r for 45 degrees, tan is x uh, y over x for 60 degrees and cos is x over r for 60 degrees as well. So in the numerator, well the negatives we can cancel of course. So in the numerator we have sine of 45 is this 45 sine is y over r so square root 2 over 2 tan of 60 degrees 60 degrees tan is y over x, so square root 3 over square root 1, which just gives me square root 3, minus cos of 60 degrees is square root is x over r, square root 1 over 2, that's just 1 over 2. So what do we have? Okay, so if we simplify this, we get square root 2 over 2 times, this is 3 over 1, so tip and times, that gives me um, times 1 over square root 3 minus a half. And this I'm just going to multiply numerator and denominator here with a square root 3 to get square root 2 times square root 3 gives me square root 6. And here in the denominator I get square root 3 times square root 3 which just gives me 3, 2 times 3 is 6, minus a half, 
Okay, and in order to subtract these two fractions, I need to multiply this with a 3 and that with a 3. And what do I get? In the numerator, I get the square root of 6, which is not a pretty number, minus 3 over 6. And that is my final answer.